I've been playing this course for 20 years. David Crane considers Cherry Island his go-to golf course. I typically play one day a week, pretty much year round. But during this week's round, a disturbing discovery. When I got to the sixth hole today uh, and saw the extent of the damage, it was, it was heartbreaking. It, it was just heart-wrenching. What he saw? A removal job already in progress of something regional parks workers found even before the course opened for the day and golfers like David hit the links. The maintenance guys um, came upon um, this anti-Semitic hate speech uh, uh, carved into one of the greens. KCRA 3 choosing to crop an image of that hate speech and symbol, but what you can see from these photos is the depth of the physical damage to the course. It wasn't like somebody uh, scuffed the green. There were gouges in the green eight inches deep. County maintenance workers getting to work immediately removing the anti-Semitic vandalism. It was obviously intentional and it, and it was extensive and it was just heartbreaking to see. But the work will take at least another day to complete. The vandalism happened on the sixth hole of the golf course on the other side of this chain link fence. And unfortunately, according to the county, there's no surveillance video at this part of the golf course. So the county says law enforcement will increase patrols around Cherry Island Golf Course. We hope that uh, it can help uh, deter any incidents like this in the future. And it's working with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office to try to find those responsible for the vandalism on the public county-owned facility. It's despicable. The county condemns hate speech in the strongest terms. While sending a message to the community that this vandalism is inexcusable. Anti-Semitism, racism, hate, hate speech, none of that has any place in Sacramento County. And the county says there still is more work to be done to get the sixth holes green entirely back to normal. But again, that investigation into the vandalism is now in the hands of the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office. So if you know anything that can help sheriffs, investigators catch the people responsible for this vandalism, they're asking that you contact their anonymous tip line to report it. Reporting live in Sacramento County, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.